soda review. Yay! Yay! I like to have delicious craft beer. And what do you like to have, DJ? Soda! That's right. Mini DJ likes soda. So what do we got on the uh, on the hit parade here for the soda tonight, big guy? We have Frosty Root Beer, um, XO Bottling Co. Oh, XL Bottling Company? Is that who makes it? Mm-hmm. Okay, where are they out of? Detroit, Michigan. Yes, that's right, Detroit, Michigan. Hmm, where they used to make autos. Now they do, still do, but not so much anymore. But apparently they're making Frosty Root Beer. So... Uh, what's a beer, root beer made out of? Is it made out of junk? Is it natural? What is it? Uh, all natural root beer made with pure cane sugar, 160 calories per bottle. 160 calories per bottle. You see, guys, he's taking down his notes. He's learning about it. So how about we pop the cap on that bad boy and see what we got on it? Okay. Yay. There we go. Looks like the cap popper's working again. Let's get that in the glass, see what we got going on. Oh, it looks fizzy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oof, almost got away from you. Yeah. All right. Okay, why don't you tell her, give everybody the description of it. Hey, before you drink it up, tell them what it looks like and everything. Hold it up to the light. See, tell them what color it is and all that stuff. Looks like root beer. Root beer, what color is it? Black. Black. Can you see light through it if you hold it up to the light? No. Maybe a little bit or no? No. So it's really dark, huh? Mm-hmm. Must be that cane sugar and ingredients in there. Oh, it doesn't smell like root beer. Doesn't smell like root beer? What's it smell like? Cane sugar. Cane sugar. Does it smell sweet? Does it, does it smells sweet like... It smells like kind of buttery a little. Kind of buttery a little? Okay. Well, remember this is all natural root beer. It's not like the A&W and that stuff. Mm -hmm. That they use like artificial flavors. Yeah. Hmm. What other smells you get in there? Mm, a little bit of vanilla. A little bit of vanilla, okay. And some roots. Oh, some of the root, okay, uh huh, yeah. And some sugar. And sweet. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's it taste like? Root beer. Root beer. What what flavors do you detect in it besides just root? It's <laughs> really good. Um. Well, I can't detect Santa because it's not December yet, so. That's not Santa. That's just a frosty dude. No, it's Santa. Oh, Santa. Okay. But anyways, what, what's it taste like? Does is it? Can you taste the vanilla that you smelled, or does it taste like buttery or butterscotch? It tastes like vanilla. It tastes like vanilla. Mhm. Mm when I smell it, when I smell it, mostly tastes like butterscotch. But when I when I taste it, it tastes like vanilla. Tastes like vanilla. Hmm. So, how, how's the sweetness? Is it too sweet? Is it just right? What do you think? It's really good. It's really good? Mm -hmm. The heck, Santa doesn't have a red hat. That's because the Frosty dude, I'm telling you. Frosty? Frosty the snowman. Not Frosty the snowman, Frosty the root beer dude. Huh? Look, show him, show him on the camera what he looks like. He's like a crazy old Frosty root beer guy that the XL bottling people fabricated. <laughs> so anyways, how does this compare to some of the other root beers that you've had? I think this one beats them. Why? The other one, it tastes too, um, like, dark of a root beer. Too, so they got too much of that, like, spicy, spiciness to them, kind of? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's more, is it more, like, smooth? How's the carbonation? Is it real fizzy or pretty mild? No, because when, when it was when it just came here, it just went down. So yeah, the head dissipated pretty quickly. Mhm. Mm mhm. So on a scale of one to ten, what would you rate it? Mm. Probably a nine and a half. Nine and a half, right? And hey, should, what, what does it have on the, printed on the neck there? It's got a date on it, right? Well, I have to give it a ten because it has the date. Well, you don't have to. Yeah, because they you even said before the video the date ha gives it extra points. Okay, yeah, that's true. The date does give it extra points. Hey, craft beer guys, 
even the root beer people can put a date on the bottle. So how about y'all learn from that and start dating our beers? But anyways, so you're giving it uh, between a 9.5 and a 10 out of 10, right? Mm -hmm. So I, I assume that means you'd have it again? Yeah. Okay. So what do you want to say to the folks in closing? Um, I mean, you don't have to get this. I mean, you can get another soda to try it. But, I mean, if, if you just want a regular soda or root beer, this would be a good one to find. Mm -hmm. You think they would like it maybe better than the A&W or the mass-produced ones? Yeah. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. DJ's giving it between a 9.5 and a 10 because he bumped it up because of that date on the bottle. He's a, a man after my own heart. And if you find the frosty root beer in your area, I guess that means what? Give it a shot? Mm-hmm. All right. So until the next time, what's that mean, buddy? Peace out. Peace out. That's right. That's my boy. See you later. Hey, guys. I just tried this one. And he's, he's up back here burping up a storm. So it's got some carbonation in it. But this is like cream soda meets root beer it's man he's not kidding this is a real vanilla bomb it's, and i'm not a fizzy drink or you know soda kind of guy and this is pretty good man mm -hmm. you're right he, my man's got a good grade on this one he's happy because he's bubbling over mr burp man so till the next time guys peace out